In this section, basically, you are going to uh, learn about the origins of mathematical programming. Also, you will see the broad applicability of mathematical programming to solve very general problems in industry, government and the military. In this video, we will discuss the background and relevance of mathematical programming. Let's briefly talk about the origin of mathematical programming. Mathematical programming started with the invention of linear programming by George Danzig in 1947. And George Danzig said that mathematical programming allows one to define general goals, to lay out a path of detailed decisions to make in order to best achieve these goals. So in a sense, mathematical programming en en entails three steps. Step number one will be the formulation of a real problem into a mathematical model. So basically, you will try to formulate the real problem uh, in mathematical terms. Then, the second step, uh, when you are using mathematical programming, will be to develop algorithms that solve these uh, mathematical programming uh, models. And the third step will be to use software and hardware to run these algorithms and develop uh, mathematical uh, optimization applications. So I wanted to point it out that mathematical programming is different from computer programming. So mathematical programming is programming in the sense of planning. So the common feature of mathematical programming models uh, is that all these models involve optimization. So this is why mathematical programming many times is also called mathematical optimization. So when you hear about mathematical optimization, essentially you are talking about mathematical programming and vice versa. They are synonyms. In these video classes, we focus on two special types of mathematical uh, programming models. Linear programming models and mixed integer linear uh, programming uh, models. So mathematical programming is declarative in the sense that the model formulates a mathematical optimization problem that captures key features of a complex decision problem. These models can then be solved efficiently by a standard uh, linear programming or mixed integer uh, linear uh, programming algorithms. Gurovi users formulate a mathematical optimization problem that will be solved by using the Gurovi callable library that is also called the Gurovi optimizer. And the mathematics and computer science behind Gurovi technology is really leading edge. Basically, Gurovi has the best performance in the mathematical optimization market. There is no other uh, solver that is as fast as Gurovi. And just to show you, in the past eight years, uh, Gurovi has achieved a cumulative improvement of 53 times faster than the original uh, Gurovi algorithm uh, that we had eight years ago. The implementation of the mathematics and computer science in the Gurovi optimizer is quite complex. However, the user does not need to worry about how to solve the optimization problem. This is done automatically by Gurovi. The user only needs to have an efficient formulation of the linear programming or mixed integer programming problem that captures the main characteristic of the optimization problem that uh, the user wants to solve. And obviously have the data that will feed the, the model. So now let's uh, discuss an overview of what we are going to cover in this particular chapter which is related to linear programming um, overview. So what we are going to do 
In section one of, of, of these video tutorials, we are going to introduce a, a problem that we, we are going to call it the furniture problem as an example that we will be prevalent throughout all the videos in this, in this chapter. We also are going to describe uh, general formulations for linear programming and mixed integral programming problems. In section two of these video tutorials, we are going to solve graphically the furniture problem that we introduced in, in, in section one, and we are going to formulate it as a linear programming problem. We are uh, going to introduce important concepts related to the theory of, of linear programming. And in section three, we are going to describe the simplex method, uh, how it works, and also there are concepts related uh, to the simplex method that are very important to the theory of linear programming. In my opinion, the simplex method is one of the most important algorithms uh, developed uh, in applied mathematics because based on this algorithm, you can really solve extremely complex business problems uh, that you have in industry, military, of government. So in section four, we describe how to use the Gurovi Python API to formulate the furniture problem that we introduced in, in, in previous sections as a linear programming problem, and then how to solve it using the Gurovi callable library. In section five, we describe how linear programming uh, models have an economic uh, interpretation. So basically, the an this analysis provides information about the impact on the objective function or the goal that you want to optimize when you make changes in the capacity available of your problem. And basically, this type of analysis led to uh, some economists to win the Nobel Prize in, econo in, in, in economics uh, based on this uh, economic in interpretation of linear programming. So this is a very important subject related to linear programming. In section six, we are going to show how a linear programming problem can have multiple solutions. And then having multiple solutions presents an opportunity to improve the linear programming problem formulation. In section seven, we are going to show how a linear programming problem can be unbounded, which means that the goal or the objective that we want to optimize can be arbitrarily large if we are maximizing that objective. And again, this uh, an unbounded linear programming problem presents an opportunity to improve the linear uh, programming uh, problem formulation. And we are going to show how we do, do that. In section eight, we are going to show how a linear programming problem can be infeasible. And what do we mean when, uh, when we say that the linear programming is infeasible? This means that there is no solution that satisfy all the constraints that we have in this uh, linear programming problem. And an infeasible linear programming problem also presents an opportunity to improve the linear programming formulation. In the, uh, in the following sections, sections uh, the, the, the sections that I'm going to describe now, uh, we are going to summarize all of these sections in, in a single video. So in this uh, video, we are going to discuss how to tackle uh, maximization and min minimization linear programming uh, problems. And also we are going to discuss when we have variables that are unrestricted, that can be positive or negative, and when this happens and how Gurobi deals with this type of, of variables. Also, an important topic that we are going to discuss in this video is how we generate an initial solution to, to, to use the simplex method um, and how Gurobi deals with, with, this, with this generation of an initial solution for uh, an LP problem when you use the simplex method. 
Another uh, um, feature that we are going to discuss is an approach that is called Presolve. Presolve is an approach that is using before you solve the linear programming model to reduce the size of the LP problem that you are trying to solve. And this is very important when you are trying to solve large LP problems. Last, in this video, we are going to talk about matrix sparsity. So basically, matrix sparsity uh, uh, relates to the number of non-zero coefficients that you have uh, associated with the variables in the problem formulation. And this characteristic of uh, linear programming to have sparse matrix is very important and can be exploited to reduce the time to solve an LP problem. In another video, we will cover a section uh, duality in linear programming. And again, this is a very important concept in, 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 in linear programming and is one of my favorite subjects in, 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 in linear programming theory. And with duality, you can characterize a optimal solution. And the characterization of optimality conditions in linear programming based on duality will be the subject of the following video, which is section 15. How you use duality to present sufficient and necessary conditions of an optimal solution of a linear programming problem. The last section that we will have in, in these videos is going to be a discussion about a simplex method. Basically, the, simplex, uh, the dual simplex method is a variation of the simplex method that we will learn in, in, in previous section. But this, this variation is very important overall when you are trying to solve uh, this complex problem, which is uh, a mixed integer linear programming uh, problem. So this, this is a general overview of the sections that you will see in this tutorial. And I really, really encourage you that you follow them because um, I expect that following uh, these tutorials, you will get a very good understanding of what linear programming is and how Gurobi can help you to solve this problem as long as you formulate it properly as uh, linear programming models. So thank you very much and see you in the next century.